Avis Apps. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, we already covered in class, we covered um, 631, which is a binomial random variables, um, and kind of like the theory behind it, but I felt like we didn't really have a lot of time to do any examples, so I wanted to do a few for you. Um, and I figured it would be a good compromise to give you like half the homework and like half of a normal video um, so that we can go from the regular style class to the flipped class. So anyways, um, we're going to just do this example. Um, I'm going to do it. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what you need for showing your work um, and then kind of show you how to calculate things if you want to do it by hand but also show you how to do it in your calculator. And the problem is, um, and this is really, really, really important, the, the thing is, like, if you use your calculator, you can't just say, I use binome rand, you know, or binome CDF, or whatever. Um, no calculator speak. So, you have to make sure that you're, like, showing your work. So, I'll kind of show you what that means as well. So, let's start with this example, all right? We're shuffling a deck of cards. Um, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Turn over the top card, um, and then we put the card back in the deck, and then shuffle again. And then you're going to repeat this process ten times. Okay? Let x be the number of aces you observe. So first of all, you know this is a binomial random variable because it's in the binomial random variable section of the book. But if you didn't have the book telling you what to do. Um, you gotta make sure that you're thinking, okay, this is binomial because those four conditions are met. Binary, okay, it's you either win or you lose. You get it or you don't, right? You have your aces or you don't. Success or fail. Um, that's binary. Independent, um, as long as you're shuffling enough between um, and replacing the card, your trials should be independent. So you have that. Um, N says you have to have the number of trials fixed, and we do. N is 10, and then uh, S is success, and so you want the probability of success. So in this case, right, the probability of a success is um, getting an ace out of um, a deck of cards, okay? So that's going to be 4 out of 52. So just so you have that written out, I wrote it down for you. Um, N is your number of trials. P is the probability of success. Okay, just so you have that. Um, all right, so let's start with the first example. What is the probability that X equals 1? And what does that mean in context, right? So we already kind of talked about this, right? If X is the number of aces you observe, right, then if X is equal to 1, then it would be we're looking for the probability of getting exactly one ace. And so in order to calculate this, right, if you want to do it by hand, um, and even if you do it by calculator, you still have to like write down a certain amount of information. Um, and so this formula is on your formula sheet, on your packet, so um, you don't need to memorize it, okay? Um, but you should know what the things mean, right? So your um, probability that x equals k, if it's a binomial random variable, that is um, equal to uh, n choose k times the probability of success raised to the power of the number of successes you want. Um, so the number of successes is 1, and the number of failures, or 1 minus p, um, we need, if we have one success, we need nine failures, okay? Um, so I would say, in this case, it would be one minus p to the ninth and p to the first, but typically, right, for your general formula, it's the number of successes, so that's k, and then we want one minus p raised to the whatever's left, right? So that's n minus k. Okay, um, again, this formula is on your formula sheet. You don't need to memorize it, but you need to know what everything means, right? N choose K is the number of ways that you can take N things and choose K of them at a time. 
Um, and then this is your probability of success happening as many times as you want it. And this is the probability of failing the other times. Now, as far as showing work is concerned, if you're going to use your calculator, you want this formula, okay? And then you want to either plug in all the numbers that you have, or you say where n is 10 and k is 1 and p is 4 out of 52, okay? Um, so either one would work as far as like showing your work. So either the blue plus what you see in red or the blue plus what you see in purple. And then you can have your calculator do all the calculations for you. Um, and you can literally just go to, okay, so we're doing a distribution. So you go second bars, okay, and then we want the binomial distribution. And your, your choice is, am I doing binompedia? which is if you have x equals a number, um, and then binome CDF, which is cumulative, which means like everything up to and including this number, right? So it would be like if x is less than or equal to 5, right? <clears throat> so that's when you would use binome CDF. So for this problem, we want binome PDF just because we have x equals 1. And so then... Um, we plug in the number of trials, which is 10, and our probability of success, P, which is 4 out of 52, and the X value, so that's whatever our X value is, X equals 1, and then we paste, and we get our probability, and that's exciting, yay, because that wasn't a whole lot of work, but you do still need to, like, show some work. All right, so then that's how you kind of show your work and do the problem. Um, okay, so number two, I'm going to just um, kind of show you the, the work and show you the steps again in the calculator, but it, um, number two is exactly the same as number one, but with x equals five. And so this one's exactly the same, except uh, k is equal to five. Um, so I just plugged in five everywhere there's supposed to be k. And then, um, again, you know, this is me showing my work, and then I just go to binome PDF and plug in my values. Uh, and the only thing that changes is X value. Hit enter, and I get this very small number, 4.548 times 10 to the negative 4. Remember, this means scientific notation. Um, so, yeah, really, really low probability of getting exactly five aces um, in 10 trials. If you're the kind of person who likes um, calculating the actual exact values um, and plugging things in, you can actually do 10 choose five on your calculator. Um, so you would do 10 math, probability, and then n choose r. Uh, so we want 10, choose 5, 10 things, choose 5 of them at a time, and that's 252. So there's your 252, and then you could multiply that by each of these individual probabilities and get the same answer. So whatever works for you. So the next two problems um, are inequalities. Um, we want the probability of getting 7 or more aces, um, and then the probability that x is less than 3. So we'll talk about what that means as well. Um, <clears throat> but really, right, the probability of getting seven or more aces is the same thing as wanting the probability of getting seven aces or eight aces or nine or ten, right? Um, so you could use the formula and plug all of those things in and add them all together, right? So you'd have like uh, ten choose seven times uh, four out of fifty-two raised to the seventh times, you know, 48 out of 52, raise, right? So you could, like, fill in all of those formulas. That is one way to do it. And then calculate each of those individually, right? Or I can look at um, that other option in my calculator, binome CDF. Um, now, remember that binome CDF is the probability, if I, if I plug in um, into binome CDF, if I plug in that X is... Um, I don't know, five, right, into binome CDF, it will pop out with the probability of x being less than or equal to five, the value that I've picked for x, okay, for k, um, the number of successes that I want. So 
um, you have to keep in mind that that's what it's calculating, right? That x is less than or equal to that value. Um, because, like, in this case, I actually have x is greater than or equal to that value. So I need to figure out what information I actually want. So if I plug in binome CDF, right, 10, uh, 4 out of 52 as my probability and 7 as my k value, um, I get this 0 0.999 really high probability, right? But remember, that's the probability of getting um, seven or less, seven or fewer aces, okay? So that's not what I want. I want greater than or equal to seven. So even if I did one minus this, right, that would be, because <clears throat> binome CDF of uh, 10, 4, over 52, and 7 is the probability of getting 0 aces, 1 ace, 2 aces, all the way up to 7 aces, okay? Um, and I want 7 or more. So even if I did 1 minus that probability, I would be getting the probability of getting 8, 9, or 10 aces. So actually what I want to do is 1 minus binome CDF, um, and instead of using 7, I want to use 6 because then when I subtract that from 1, I'm actually calculating the probability of getting a 7, an 8, a 9, or 10 aces. So this is actually what I want. So um, I go to binome CDF, right, which is in second bars, right, in the distribution, binome CDF, and I want 10 trials, probability of success is 4 out of 52, and my x value is going to be 6. I want to paste that. And then I want to subtract that from 1. So maybe 1 minus my answer. And that'll get me a very, very small percentage. So the probability of getting uh, 7 or more aces is very small. All right, so that's my answer for number 3. Number 4 is the probability that x is less than 3. So 3 or uh, not 3 or less aces, but actually less than 3. So 2 aces, 1 ace, or 0 aces. Um, so that would look something like the following. So for showing your work, you know, you want to show something like what I did in three. So use the formula for the first term and then the last term and do a plus dot dot dot, right? So kind of like what I did right up here. Um, and then I can do the same thing for this. And then I can use binome CDF um, as long as I'm using the correct K, right? Because it uses less than or equal to the value. So I don't want to plug in 3, I want to actually plug in 2. So something like this is really enough to show your work and then you just have your calculator do it for you. I want to go to second distribution, second bars, uh, binome CDF, and again 10 trials, probability of success, and my x value this time is 2 because I want less than or equal to 2, which is the same thing as less than 3 because you can't have half of an ace. Um, and then paste, and you find that probability, and that is your answer. So my um, answer to that problem is 0.9638, approximately. And that's it. So hopefully that helps and makes a lot more sense now, because I know we kind of rushed through it in class. All right, bye.